Hey there, viewers. Are you trying to keep your body in shape? I know you're fixated on your muscles, but you have to take care of your organs as well, your liver in particular. The liver helps your body digest food and get rid of toxins. If you're not treating it right, it won't be able to do its job. This results in liver failure. Luckily, your diet can help change that. Let's talk about the best foods to help detox your liver. Have you been eating fish? How about leafy greens? Hang on, does this really mean I can eat more spice? We're talking all that and more. Spice up your life. I bet you didn't think spices could be healthy for your organs. We often hear how bad spice can be for your insides. Well, that's if you're having too much of it. A little bit of it can do a lot for your liver. But not just any spice. I'm not gonna ask you to devour a ghost pepper or something wild like that. The spice doesn't have to make your colon explode for it to be powerful. Let's talk about turmeric for a second. This is a spice traditionally found in India and is said to be very healthy for cleansing your liver. You see, turmeric has a special ingredient. It's a little something called curcumin. When you're living a wild lifestyle full of partying, your liver is gonna feel that. Over time, inflammation will build up. If it doesn't get the proper attention and care, the liver will eventually fail. You don't want this to happen. Curcumin holds anti-inflammatory properties that can help your liver when it's become inflamed. Olive oil. Lots of it. A lot of people see olive oil as another ingredient for their recipes. It often helps loosen up the pan so nothing gets stuck. Well, it does a whole lot more than that. Olive oil has terrific benefits for people suffering from fatty liver. It can reduce the amount of fat deposited into your liver. It holds a ton of anti-inflammatory properties that help relieve the liver when there are too many toxins. Studies have shown that extra virgin olive oil is particularly beneficial for those with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It can also help reduce pain. Other pieces of research have found that just over three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil have about the same effect as 10% of the adult dosage of ibuprofen. Stink up your breath with some garlic. This is another food ingredient that can do a lot for the health of your liver. This is thanks to a special mineral known as selenium. Selenium triggers enzymes that flush all the toxins from the organ. It kills the bad bacteria so the liver can function properly. Much like olive oil, a little bit of garlic goes a long way in reducing fatty liver disease. The compounds in garlic will go to war with the inflammation, allowing your liver to breathe a little easier and flush out anything bad that may be hurting it. If your liver is suffering, experts suggest you take two garlic cloves before going to bed. If you're not into eating garlic cloves, you can sprinkle the appropriate amount of garlic into your next recipe. Not only does it increase the flavor of your food, it can also help make your liver much healthier. Go fishing! When was the last time you had some good fish? It may not be your first choice, but fish can do a lot for you in the liver department. You see, fish is packed with something called omega-3 fatty acids. This fights inflammation and stops your liver from collecting too much fat. The best types of fish for dealing with liver disease are tuna, salmon, trout, and sardines. These will help you maintain a healthy level of fat in your liver, rather than having it build up. Fish also serves as a healthy alternative for anyone looking to replace their usual beef or chicken. It lets you get the same protein while helping you avoid all that other garbage like fat and skin. Now, I'm not going to tell you to head to the nearest lake and hop on a boat. It doesn't need to be that difficult. But what you can do is take a peek at the fish section the next time you're at the grocery store. Don't forget your veggies! If you're not already eating your vegetables, maybe this will convince you. Cruciferous vegetables will clean all the gross toxins out of your liver. Just so you know, cruciferous vegetables are veggies that are considered part of the cabbage family. This group includes things like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, bok choy, and of course, cabbage itself. Cruciferous vegetables contain a special compound called glutathione, which activates the enzymes that help clear your liver of toxins. Studies have found that eating these veggies on the regular will help your body fight fatty liver disease. Experts recommend people eat no less than three cups of cruciferous veggies each week. Not only will this help lower the risk of disease, it also allows you to age gracefully. Focus on eating more leafy green vegetables. If your usual cruciferous veggies include broccoli, then you're on the right track. Over time, you're going to need to add other kinds of green veggies to your diet. The most important are leafy greens. Leafy green vegetables come with antioxidants that fight the free radicals of your body. While you will benefit from this as a whole, it will help your liver especially. Studies have found that eating leafy green veggies on a regular basis can reduce your risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. 
On top of the antioxidants, leafy greens also have something called chlorophyll. This is the natural compound found in plants that gives them their color. When green plants are ingested, the chlorophyll will soak up all the toxins from your bloodstream. The best types of leafy green vegetables are spinach, kale, and collard. So if you're showing symptoms of liver disease, try eating more leafy greens. Speaking of green, what's your tea situation like? If you're increasing your vegetable intake, you may as well drink more green tea. It's one of the most popular health drinks out there right now. Green tea has become a phenomenon for anyone trying to get in shape. Along with helping you lose weight and strengthen your immune system, green tea can cleanse your liver. Let's talk about lipids for a second. Lipids are organic compounds that don't dissolve in water. When it comes to your food, these are things like hormones, fats, oils, and waxes. Green tea will help your body metabolize lipids rather than have them collected in your liver. This will help prevent liver disease. Studies have found that daily green tea consumption gives your liver a better chance of getting rid of toxins. As a result, your liver will do a much better job of flushing them out. Over time, your consumption of green tea will prevent liver disease. It can even stop acute liver failure. This is when a person's liver quickly begins to lose function. It usually occurs in people who have no pre-existing signs of liver disease and is brought on by drug use or hepatitis. If you're looking to improve your health in general, experts suggest you have between three to five cups of green tea every day. While too much green tea may be a problem for some people, it's one of those situations where the benefits outweigh the risks. Not a tea drinker? Have some coffee. It seems like the whole world is addicted to coffee these days. While most people drink it for the caffeine boost, they don't realize the benefits it has on their liver. Have you ever heard of fibrosis? This is where your tissues scar. When it comes to the liver, this can be particularly dangerous. But if you're a coffee drinker, you're in luck. Coffee has been shown to help with fibrosis in the liver. This is all thanks to parazenthine, a chemical that slows down the growth of the scar tissue. On top of that, drinking coffee can help with corrosis of the liver. This is what happens when fibrosis gets out of hand. It's usually brought on by excessive drinking or hepatitis. Just make sure that the coffee is black with no sugars or other additives. This is the purest, healthiest way to drink it. Outside of preventing liver disease, black coffee's antioxidants can boost your immune system and help reduce your risk of heart disease and even cancer. Go nuts! In the mood for a snack? Well, how about replacing chips with a healthy bowl of nuts? Most of us already know nuts are healthy, but did you realize that eating nuts on the regular can lower your risk of liver disease? A regular serving of nuts is proven to be effective on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Nuts generally carry healthy fats that are easy for your liver to take in. Walnuts are particularly good for the liver due to the number of healthy fats and antioxidants they carry. Back in 2021, a study was conducted where people ate one ounce of walnuts every day. By the end, the people who ate walnuts up to six times per day had a much stronger liver than the people who ate fewer. Their liver had a much greater rate of fat loss and was able to metabolize nutrients much easier. Have a little more avocado. If you're looking for a healthy new fruit to eat, avocado is your best bet, especially when it comes to your liver. Studies have shown that eating avocados on a regular basis can lower the amount of lipids and fats in your blood. This helps people suffering from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Experts suggest eating one full avocado a day is fine. The least you can do is spread some over your toast for lunch every once in a while. Your organs are obviously essential to your health. It's not just your liver you need to take care of. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more organ-related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out 13 foods that make your kidneys healthy. Or how about trying foods that clean your arteries and prevent a heart attack? Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to maintain healthy organs. Are you considering any of these foods after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.